But that is perhaps another way of coming to this uh, medium and the message thing. In visual space, we think of things as continuous and connected. Eh? There is no connection in uh, auditory space or tactile space. To the sense of touch, there are no connections. There are only resonances, beats, rhythms, closures. And to smell, to all the other senses, kin kinetic movement and so on, there is no continuity, no connection, only discontinuity. And this um, idea of the visual man, the Euclidean man, that space is continuous and uniform and connected, does not apply in the electronic age to any of the senses except sight. And under electronic conditions, even the visual has lost that continuous character under especially television conditions. It becomes once more a mosaic, a collage of resonant dots, spots. The idea of um, pattern recognition, one of the peculiar new awarenesses of our time, is the result of speed up. When things move very quickly, their pattern or form of them appears very plainly. Whereas when things move very slowly, it's not so easy to see a pattern. This uh, has something to do with uh, a lot of the uh, confusions of our world. Um, when people who had previously been quite content in a fixed position in a job or a career, are suddenly confronted with very fast-moving situations where they can see overall patterns, they suddenly become very discontented with their place, their fixed position. So the dropout is a normal a kind of response to pattern recognition. No, but I mean, in, in all aspects of our society, the people who are dropping out right, left, and center are people who suddenly have seen a pattern in their lives. Instead of just a fixed position, visually oriented, everything in its place, a place for everything, a classification, a job, people suddenly want to be involved in more dynamic patterns, packaged material, whether it's in the advertising world or in the educational world, is no longer acceptable. The consumer status has been greatly downgraded. We live in a world in which the consumer habits have been yielding steadily to producer involvement. And so the TV audience acts now as a producer. Had you ever thought of the instant replay in football as creating a totally new form of audience participation in the dynamics of the game? In an instant replay, the in effect you say, let us stop this action, halt it, arrest, hold it. Then you say, now, what has just happened in this game had this effect. Let us see how we achieve this effect. Let us replay that action and observe how this particular effect was attained. Now, this is the attitude of every artist to every artistic production. He says, in effect, hold that action. I want to capture it in another medium. Now, in the case of a uh, playback, you are in the presence of the artistic process. An artist always says, how did I get that, how could I get that effect? I must go back and replay it. So, in, uh, the, what has happened to football since the replay is that the public now demands that the game be changed so that they can see the process by which the effects are attained. The games are even halted until the replays are completed on TV. It isn't just halted for the ads, but for the replays. But they sometimes have to wait until the replay is completed. The public sometimes bring their own sets to watch the replays during the game. And they use the uh, sets in the stadium, in the lobbies and so on, eagerly during the game, too. Now, this uh, is a new form of participation in the game as process. Now, in our time, the public has demanded access to the artistic process in every field including the schoolroom. The learning process is now something in which children expect to participate, not just as consumers, but as producers. 
And they get this from TV. TV is, in a par, in, in a par excellence way, a medium of processes. It reveals processes as never before, not just products. So that uh, you only have to watch the more effective forms of advertising to see that the ad is never presented as a product, but always as a process of participation. This is where Sesame Street has shone, made by Madison Avenue experts. It shows the entire learning process in action and in the best advertising style.